upon the world. And, and the book of Mormon. With Charlie. And Abby. And, and friends. friends. Hi, Hi friends. friends. Thanks for joining us at the Book of Mormon Lab. Last week we talked about believing in God. Remember our dancing popcorn kernels? That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Well, there's a line at the end of last week's scripture that we didn't read. Let's read a part of it and see how it ties to this week's scripture in the Book of Mormon. Everyone get your Book of Mormon and let's go to Mosiah chapter 4, verse 9. At the end it says, Believe that man doth not comprehend all the things which the Lord can comprehend. What do you think this means? Uh, that... That God man knows everything. That yes, we know. exactly. It means that we don't know everything God does. He is the one that has all knowledge. Today we're going to learn about King Limhi. He was the son of wicked King Noah. King Noah didn't listen to the prophet Abinadi. Well, King Mosiah sent Ammon to go see the people that went to the north, and they found King Limhi and his people. In the Liahona, we're going to read what King Limhi told the people. Abby, can you read that scripture for us? Sure, Mom. It says, Therefore lift up your heads and rejoice and put your trust in God. Also, that's the God who brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt and caused that they should walk through the Red Sea on dry ground. Thanks, Abby. This scripture is telling us to trust in God. Just like the end of last week's scripture says, God knows more than we do, this means that we should trust him, right? That he will help us. Trust is a word of the day. Let's use our hands, everybody wiggle your fingers, and let's sign the word trust. We're gonna take our two hands up here on the sky, and we're gonna pull them down. Trust. Now, I love this sign because it is like God is up in heaven, and if we grab onto his words and listen to him, that means we trust him. Good. So every time you hear the word trust, I want you to do the sign. We'll see if you guys remember the sign for trust. We can trust God because he keeps his promises when we obey him. He is bound to bless us. Now let's experiment upon the words in this scripture today and see if we can understand what it means to put our trust in God. Let's first get out some supplies. Now, if you want to do this experiment with us, you're going to need a glass jar, something like one of these, a mason jar, something that has kind of a smaller top onto it. And then we need baking soda. And we're going to use a quarter teaspoon because we need to put it in something. And then we also need vinegar. Now we do need something that's inside the Liahona. Let's let Charlie open and see what's inside. What else do we need to do our experiment today? Balloons. Okay, let's pass out the balloons and let's see if we can experiment on the word and see if we can trust God. Let's pretend, everybody hold your balloon up, that the balloon represents us. Everybody point to yourself. Good, the balloon is going to represent us. And the baking soda right here is going to represent trust. So the word trust, everybody do the us. sign for trust. Ready? Trust. Good. Us. Abby and Charlie, what does it mean to trust someone? I uh, believe that they'll say the right thing. Good, you'll believe them, right? Yeah. And you trust them, you'll rely on them. For example, when I drop you off at school, Abby, do you trust that I will come back and pick you up after school? Yeah. Yes, that is right. You can trust me that I'll pick you up, and I always do. Charlie, what about when Hiram baptized you today in the temple for your ancestors? Do you trust him to get you back out of the water? Yes. Yes, you put a lot of trust in your brother. Now, do you remember that trust ball game that you guys like to play? What do you do and why do you have to trust someone? You have to trust them so you don't fall. Good, so explain how it works. And I just played that at school. Oh, you did? So one person stands behind the other one and what happens? They have to fall. They have to fall without looking behind them and trust that this person's going to do what? Catch them. Now, if you didn't trust the person, would you be willing to fall back? No. No, of course not, right? <laughs> you don't trust them, you're definitely not going to fall back. Now, let's add the word trust or the baking soda into our balloon. So we're going to put trust Ooh. inside of us. We need to put about two teaspoons inside of our balloon. So one of you can hold it, you can get a parent's help 
like this. Abby, show us how to do that. You're going to open it and then the other person can put the baking soda just inside. Good job. Ready, Charlie? Yeah. Okay, the other way you can do it is you can put it right here like this and then turn it over and dump it inside. So this is a little bit messy and you probably want to get some help. So we added what inside our, our balloon? Baking soda. Okay. Which represents what? Trust. Trust. Now we need to add vinegar into our glass containers. Now the vinegar is going to represent God. So we're going to fill it up to about 70. Uh, let's go let's go just halfway okay ready let's fill this up halfway this is just white vinegar and then i'm going to fill mine up as well so woo, we're making a mess here today friends okay right up there okay so i filled that one up to 80 and let's see what happens now right now our truss is where nowhere it's in? Oh, the balloon. And what does the balloon represent? Uh, trust. Us. us. So this is trust and this is us. Trust us. Inside of us. According to the scripture, we read that at the beginning, if God knows more than we do, and then in the other scripture for this week about how trusting in God brings blessings, like when he saved the Israelites by dividing the Red Sea, do you think we should trust in ourselves? Or should we trust in God? God? God. Good. So we want to put our trust in God. What do you think will happen if we put our trust in God? Uh, everything will work out. Yeah. He'll bless us. He'll help us. Well, it is like the trust fall game again. If you trust <laughs> that God will catch you and he will help you, then guess what? He will do that. He will help guide you safely through this life. He will never, ever drop you. Let's attach the balloon to the glass, but make sure to not let any baking soda inside. Watch how I do it. Ready? You're going to go like this, I know. but don't pour any baking soda in. And we're going to hold the balloon like that. Okay. We're going to just be careful. You're just going to open it like this and it's going to explode. And we're going to put it over the top and then you're going to put your hands like that and kind of hold it. Here, do you want me to help you? Oh, you got it. You got it. Go, go, go. Keep going. Good job. Okay. Okay. That's good, that's good. It's okay. Just hang on to this. You're going to hang on to this with one hand and hang on to the other side. What do you think will happen to the balloon to us when we put our trust in God, which is the vinegar? What do you think is going to happen? Uh, it's going to explode. It's going to explode. How do you think it's going to explode? What do you think it's going to do, Abby? Uh, it's going to go crazy. Okay, let's find out. Okay. On the count of three. One, two, three. It's filling up our balloon. Isn't that awesome? Hang on to the balloon. Hang on to the bottom part. Good job. Hang on to it. Hang on to it. So this, like last week, the vinegar and the baking soda make what gas? Carbon dioxide. Good, carbon dioxide. So the gas is what is filling up our balloon. So we can take it off if you want. Just grab, pinch and grab it. As we trust, not in ourselves or in other people, but as we trust God, he can fill us up and fill our life with peace, joy, love, hope, and he can save us like he did the Israelites. Boys and girls, I know that we can trust in God. We can trust in his perfect plan for us. We can trust in the Savior's atoning sacrifice and know that as we repent and try to be like Jesus, we can be forgiven. Let's talk about the different ones we have. So we have two that are big that we filled up about the same and this small little one. Now, are they about the same? Abby, let's put your balloon by mine. No. Uh, mine's a little bit bigger, which is different, right? You would think that the small one would be smaller. This is when you can experiment. Try different sizes. Try a tall one, a short one, and experiment with how much baking soda versus vinegar and see if your balloon will get bigger or smaller. That's the same thing we have to do with our trust in God. We have to experiment. We have to listen to him. We have to read the scriptures. And then when he tells us to do something, we experiment by doing what? Uh, pretend. By doing it, right? Yeah. If he tells us, Charlie, you should go to the temple. What should you do? To the temple. Then as you go to the temple, you could begin to trust him that the temple is a good place for Charlie to be. And I know it is. 
I see how happy it makes you. And it is the best place to be where we can serve others. If we don't trust God, what happens to us? Are we lifted? What happens? Charlie's went crazy and let go, right? When we don't trust in God, but we trust in ourselves, we can become deflated, sad, and not happy. <laughs> we always want to put our Thank trust you, in God. Good job. Before you go, write down this week's scripture in your gold plates and read the Book of Mormon every day. It will help you learn to trust in God. And don't forget, it's a new month. So join our scripture club and get this month's coloring page so that it can help you read every day. I know that as you do, you will learn how to trust in God. Thank you for joining us as we experimented upon the words in the Book of Mormon. Until next time, remember Jesus loves you. Bye, Bye my friends. friends. Before you go, support our channel by joining our scripture club and get fun printables. Have you subscribed to our channel yet? If not, click subscribe below and hit the bell to be notified when we post our next video. If you like this video, please share it with a friend. See us soon. Bye, my friends.